Hello everybody, uh, my name is Adam Hathaway and I'm the superintendent of Tiff County Schools, the greatest school system in the entire state of Georgia. And if you're watching this, you're lucky to be a Blue Devil today. And I tell you, it's always a great day to be a Blue Devil. Uh, I wish I was there in your classroom with you uh, so I could read this book in person. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, and it is a book by Dr. Seuss called The Sneetches. Uh, I don't know if you've ever read this before, but it is an absolutely excellent book, and it really talks to how we should treat one another and about how important it is uh, to appreciate each other for our differences. So uh, I'll go ahead and start reading it, and I hope that you're having a great day uh, wherever you are in your classroom. Again, The Sneetches by Dr. Seuss. Now the star-bellied sneeches had bellies with stars. The plain-bellied sneeches had none upon theirs. Those stars weren't so big. They were really so small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star-bellied sneeches would brag, we're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort will have nothing to do with the plain-bellied sort. And whichever, or whenever they met some, when they were out walking, they'd hike right past them without even talking. It's very rude. When the star-bellied children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You only could play if your bellies had stars, and the plain-bellied children had none upon them. When the star-bellied sneeches had frankfurter roast, or picnic, or parties, or marshmallow toast, they never invited the plain-bellied sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near, and that's how they treated them year after year. It's really baffling. When one day it seems, while the plain-bellied sneeches were moping and doping along on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced, in a voice clear and keen, my name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean, and I've heard of, of your troubles, I've heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that up. I'm a fix-it-up chatty. I've come here to help you. I have what you need, and my prices are low, and I work at great speed. And my work is 100% guaranteed. Mr. McMonkey McBean. Then quickly Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine. And he said, you want stars like the star-bellied snitch? My friends, you can have them for $3 each. Just pay me your money and hop right aboard. So they clambered inside, then the big machine roared. And it clonked, and it bonked, and it jerked, and it burped, and it bopped them about. But the one thing really worked. When the plain belly sneeches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had stars upon theirs. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you. You can't tell us apart. We're all just the same now, you snooty old smarties. And now we can go to your frankfurter parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We're still the best sneeches, and they're still the worst. But now how in the world will we know? They all frowned. If which kind is what, or the other way round? Mr. McMonkey McNeen. Then up came McBean with a very sly wink. He, he said, things are not quite as bad as you think. So you don't know who's who. That is perfectly true. But come with me, friends. Do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best sneeches on beaches. And all it will cost you is $10 eaches. Belly stars are no longer in style, said McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars so you won't look like sneeches who have them on theirs. And that handy machine, working very precisely, 
removed all the stars from their tummies quite nicely. So all the star belly snitches lost the stars on their bellies. Then with snoots in the air, they paraded about, and they opened their beaks, and they let out a shout. We know who is who, and now there isn't a doubt. The best kind of snitches are snitches without. Then, of course, those with stars got frightfully mad. To be wearing the star now was frightfully bad. Then, of course, old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into a star-off machine. Then, of course, from then on, as you probably guess, things really got into a horrible mess. There's running in and out, and Mr. McMonkey McBean's making a lot of money. All the rest of that day on those wild screaming beaches, the fix-it-up chappy kept fixing up sneeches, off again, on again, in again, out again. Through the machines they raced round and round again changing their stars every minute or two. They kept paying money, they kept running through. Until neither the plane nor the star belly stitches knew whether this one was that one, or that one was this one, or which one was what one, or what one was who. Then when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix it up chappy packed up and he went. And he laughed as he drove in his car up the beach, they will never learn. No, you can't teach a snitch. He rode off with all of their money. But McBean was quite wrong, I'm quite happy to say, that the sneeches got really quite smart on that day. The day they decided that sneeches are sneeches and no kind of sneech is the best on the beaches, that day all the sneeches forgot about the stars and whether they had one or not upon bars. They all started getting along. And that is The Sneeches by Dr. Seuss. I hope that you learn from this that uh, we need to treat each other equally because every single one of you is a blue devil and blue devils matter. Blue devils are the best thing on the planet and we need to make sure that we do all we can uh, to love one another and take care of one another because it doesn't matter how we look and it doesn't matter where we come from. We're all blue devils on the inside um, for the teeth.